match over if you're smart with it. Well, it looks like it's a little easier, too, with that to go both ways yes. as well. Go one way or the other. You don't even have to roll continuously in the same direction. You just start dumping back and forth, pick up your points in bunches. But, yeah, when you're on bottom, you're, you're, you got to stay clear of getting that arm trapped. And if you do, you better be working hard to get out of it. So we've got Sullivan Ramos here filling in for Ian Crap. And then we've got Ethan Sylvester. This match is wrestled at 145 pounds. So shout out to Ramos for stepping in on short notice. Coming here to scrap. Hopefully Ian can uh, get that nose healed up. Broken noses are never fun. Ramos, who I would say uh, had one of the more impressive state tournaments, uh, really at Oh, at least seed-wise with a couple of upsets to make his way to the semifinals. It's a guy who, you know, I try to cover a lot of Wisconsin wrestling, Jake. He really flew onto my radar yeah. after the state tournament. Had a breakout performance, <clears throat> and he's going to continue to do big things this offseason, making those big jumps. So excited to see how he progresses into this offseason, and I'm sure he'll continue to climb. And uh, Mr. Ernie Millard nodding in agreement over there. You know when a coach like that's agreeing with you, there's a lot of good things about that kid. <laughs> Scoreless here in the first. Let's got to see a high flying move. There's now Sylvester in on a front head. Ramos looking to get wrist control. Looks like we'll get a stoppage here with 1.22 left in the period. Still scoreless here. This is the first match that we've gone this long without any points. Get another stoppage here. They're looking for some action. They're telling Blue not the not the block. Another stoppage. We've got some blood here. So get him cleaned up. Jake, do you want to explain that uh, the ref telling him not to block? Yeah. So in freestyle, it's one of those things where you got to be action. They're they're looking for some points, some some flurries. Um, and if you're blocking and, and prohibiting that from happening, they will call you passivity, something that's the stalling of freestyle. Um, I'm not sure if they're doing that here. I don't believe so. But the block, if you're using your head to block, they will call you on that. We'll bring you back up to the feet. Just looking for action. I want to see points being scored. So very similar to stalling and, and folk style. I know, uh, I know we haven't seen it tonight, I, if, like you said, if we're even doing that tonight. But the one thing I liked uh, following freestyle is you kind of referees can instill that shot clock where you have 30 yep. seconds to score, otherwise your opponent gets a point. But you can tell during that 30 seconds, the action always heats up. Yep, and it's always interesting to see how the guys that get put on the clock, how they go about it. Some guys don't even change up their game plan. They just give up that one. They don't want to put themselves in danger of getting too offensive that does sound weird but a lot of guys will they won't um, stray from their game plan they'll stick with it but that is one of the, the, the differences and there's one blue right now almost looking like inside trip there for one, go. Oh, can he can he keep going through there's four big ones there way to keep driving the feet <coughs> big big points for Sullivan there and more blood. We got 14 to go here. 5-0 lead for Ramos. All oh, a trip attempt by Sylvester and Ramos able to turn it into offense of his own. I was going to say, for someone with the last name Ramos, pretty low scoring affair so far. Yeah. A little bit more of a look at Ethan Sylvester here, a junior out of Totino Grace. Who's a fourth at state this year. Looking to keep things rolling for Pinnacle right now as they found themselves on a 
little winning streak here in the early going to this duel, but Ramos with that throw. So a little score change there. It'll be 3-0, yep, 3-0 now in favor of Ramos. That knee was grounded, so it was not feet to back. And yeah, I spoke, I misspoke earlier. Mulvaney was the opening round winner, but Pinnacle has won five straight. Well, two of those wins uh, coming from Wisconsin boys. So I guess a win-win here for the Wisconsin yeah. fans <laughs> watching at home. I want to thank everyone tuning in. 356, almost 360 now tuned in to watch this. Yes, thank you guys for tuning in. Super excited that we're able to bring you guys this event. Continue to put on events and get some good coverage here in the off season. So we start in part tier here. Ramos starts on top. And that'll be the end of the first period. Ramos will take a 3-0 lead into the second. I think that may be the lowest scoring match that we've had so far, but love these types of matches where even though the score doesn't quite reflect it, plenty of action plenty of that action. we've seen on the mat. That's what I love about freestyles. I love the, the savviness of it, the scoring points in bunches, big moves. We'll see what kind of action we get here to start the second. A little hand slap, whistle blow. Here we go. And right away, getting those collar underhooks. Sylvester really working this. These pinnacle guys like to get that shallow underhook, control the opposite elbow. Heavy with that head pull. We're going to go back up to the feet here. See if Ramos can't get cleared out of that. Maybe get to a leg attack. And right back to that. Punches that underhook in there. Calling. Just a little background noise from our five-year-old uh, camera system. <laughs> now we got to make do what we got. Shot there for Sylvester. Ramos is getting a little funky here with this defense wrapped around the far arm. See if Sylvester can't bring it up to the feet. It wraps around the waist, brings up to the feet. Looking big points here. He's going to just sag heavy. And we're going to get two points there for Sylvester. That makes it three to two now. And it looks like the scoreboard says five to two, but I believe should be three two. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. Oh, the score! The scoreboard's got a little. So it is three to two. The scoreboard in the gym. Um, they're missing one of the lines that make a complete number, so it could look like a three or a five. Well, Jake, we know what happens when you uh, when you assume, and uh, just happened to me there. Is <laughs> scoreboard people staying on top of their game? Nice shot attempt there by Ramos. Love to see him up one. Uh, still just trying to keep that offense going. So Ramos still with the lead here, just over 40 seconds. Sylvester been a little bit more on the attack, getting to his ties, getting some leg attacks in. Drops down to that knee. Let's see what kind of action we get here in the last 30 seconds. I'm expecting something. Let's see if Sylvester pulls the trigger, and there he does, a little shot of his own. Ramos doing a good job of just getting, getting heavy and staying in good position. Yeah, that was a great snap down by Sylvester, but Ramos just able to find that wrist control. And it looks like he's going to ride this out to 
a three to two a victory. While you talk about the X factor in matches, Jake, the one big moment that changed it, uh, basically a.